Environment variables contain important information that may differ up to the environment. As example, if I am on my local machine, my app env will point to local and my key will point to my local value. And if I have a web route that just displays those values, sure enough, I have my app env pointing to local and my key pointing to my local value. And if I deploy this application to my staging environment, I can see that my app env is pointing to staging and my key is pointing to null. Now, the reason why those environment variables are different from the environment variables locally is because this .env file just concerns your local environment and it doesn't concern any of the environment variables present in your Vapor environments. But we also see that Vapor have automatically injected my environment name on my app env environment variable. And this happens because if we go to our functions in AWS console, we can quickly see that in our configuration environment variables that Vapor injects multiple environment variables. Let's see a few examples. The app env, as mentioned, is already pointing to our environment name. The app URL is pointing to our vanity domain. And of course, if you had a real domain, this will be changed automatically. And for example, the asset URL is pointing to our CloudFront domain. Now, how about if you want to manage those environment variables, or even more, you want to add new ones? Well, you can do it from your terminal. So let's add over to our terminal and type vapor env pool and then you put the name of the environment, in this case it's staging. Now, Vapor will download the environment file to .env.staging, so if we go to our uh, editor, we can see our file just next to our local.env. And you can also see that this file have the same look and feel that our .env file locally. Now, let's, for example, uh, add a new environment variable to our staging environment, for example, the my key, but let's also change an existing environment variable, for example, the mail from name. And we can do this by going to our .env.staging file and just type my key equals to my staging environment, for example. And also mail from name, and let's put my own name here. And once you do this, you just have to go to your terminal again and type vapor env push and then the name of the environment. And vapor is now uploading environment a file, but it looks like that it was enabled to parse the given environment variables. And this I think it happened because we forgot to put my name with uh, double quotes. So let's do that and then let's um, push the staging environment file again. And I can see that the environment variables got uploaded successfully and Vapor is now asking me if I want to delete this file from my local machine and I'm going to say yes. Now, we have cleared the terminal but I think Vapor have asked me that I need to deploy my project so the new environment variables can take effect. And that's very much true because if I go to my vanity domain, if I click on refresh, you can see that my keys still have the null value. So now we need to issue a new deployment so the new environment variables uh, can take effect. So let's do that by typing Vapor Deploy Staging. Now, while our deployment is being done, let me show you as well that you could have changed the environment variables directly on Vapor UI. And to do that, you just need to click on your uh, project, then you click on the environment itself, and here on the top right you have the Edit Environment Variables button, which you can click, and then you could actually have modified the environment variables uh, in this form. And of course, if you click on save, you would need to deploy the environment as well. So that's that's no different. So let's monitor our let's monitor our deployment here um, on the Vapor UI, and you can see that our deployment is being done. So let's wait a few seconds until our deployment is completed.
All right, looks like our deployment is now completed. So if we go again uh, into our um, vanity domain, sure enough, if I click on refresh, I can see the my key with a new environment variable value. And of course, if I check my Lambda environment variables, sure enough, if I head over to our mail from name, I can see my own name on it. And that's it for environment variables on Vapor.